space experts have found utilizing our new $10 billion toy, the James Webb Space Telescope, that the plan for a journey to Proxima Centauri may become a reality. If everything goes according to plan, the excursion to Proxima will require around 20 years. However, it will be many years before we can confirm if there is indeed life on that planet. The deep-rooted question remains, are we genuinely alone in this universe? The James Webb Telescope has found some non-human-like things far from Earth, bringing us closer to the answers to our quest for life beyond our planet. This quest has been widespread throughout every human civilization, generating numerous media writings and theories on this subject. Our wonder about our place and loneliness in the universe has been consistent, as if it is ingrained within us to constantly look for a friend, regardless of how alien they may be. We are finding more clues that bring us closer to the answers we genuinely care about. However, are these really the answers we are searching for, or are they more frightening? Join us as we explore the latest discoveries in the realms of universes and planets on the journey to find something we may not be ready to observe. Lights far away, scientists have found what could be the most earth-shattering discovery ever. Back in 2021, when the James Webb Space Telescope was planned to launch, an interesting speculative inquiry arose about the capabilities of our technology. The question was whether our telescopes could detect artificial light on another planet in the future. For example, Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to Earth, is in the habitable zone of our nearest neighbor, the small star Proxima Centauri, around 4.25 light-years away. Since the exoplanet was multiple times closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun, Proxima b was believed to have a permanent day side and night side, like our moon. A speculative advanced civilization on Proxima b could transfer heat and power from the day side to the night side using photovoltaic cells that produce power from starlight. Consequently, in a paper with Manus Lingam as one of the scientists, it was shown that a large coverage of the day side by solar panels could be detected with future telescopes. Since the JWST was further developed, it would allow us to expand our search for artificial lights to habitable exoplanets like Proxima b. Now, in 2024, it is possible that the James Webb Space Telescope has done precisely that. Utilizing its higher sensitivity and broader range of capabilities, the JWST could have found the lights we were searching for, potentially launching us into another significant leap in human advancement. Let us delve into the world of planets and exoplanets to understand how this was even possible. James Webb Central Mission Explores Proxima Centauri's Secret Sites Throughout history, people have pondered the nature of the universe, what are we? Where do we come from? And where do we go? These are common yet very difficult questions that humanity has tried to answer since gaining awareness. Now, in an age of rapid technological advancement, one wonders if we are any closer to answering any of these questions. If you ask a philosopher, he would likely say we are at level zero in understanding ourselves in the universe. If you ask a space expert the same question, watch him bounce around in excitement as he rushes to tell you about the latest discoveries humans have made about the universe using their ingenious tools. These tools, although not given much attention by the general public, are a direct sign of human progress. We now have the world at our fingertips, and it is time we push forward and get the universe at our fingertips as well. One method researchers and astronomers have decided to use is through technology. A particular creation of this technology is now responsible for the new discovery of what could be light on a different planet light years away. Yes, we are talking about the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the creation born out of the traditions of human endeavors into space to answer several ever-present questions, are we alone? Who is out there? Where do we start and where do we end? This infrared astronomy instrument has already begun answering these questions, albeit partially. First, you might ask, what even is Proxima b? Proxima Centauri b, or simply Proxima b, is sometimes referred to as Alpha Centauri b. It is a super-Earth that orbits an M-type star. Super-Earths are a class of planets that are more massive than Earth but lighter than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. They are unique, composed of gas, rock, or a mix of both, and their sizes can range from two times the size of Earth to several times its mass. They truly put the super in super-Earth. As for Proxima b, it is a super-Earth and an exoplanet, meaning it is a planet that orbits outside our solar system. The first possible evidence of an exoplanet was found in 1917, though it generated little interest and recognition. However, in 1992, the first confirmed detection occurred, stunning researchers. Another exoplanet, first detected in 1988, was confirmed in 2003. As of April 1, 2024, there are 5,653 confirmed exoplanets in 4,161 planetary systems, with 896 systems having more than one planet. 
these grand revelations are orbiting an M-type star. To explain the M-type star, one needs to understand the red dwarf. A red dwarf is the smallest type of star in the main sequence, hence the name. In the neighboring regions of the Sun, red dwarfs are by far the most common type of star to be found. They have very low luminosity, as luminosity is one of our primary tools for planet discovery and other deductions. Red dwarfs are not that easy to observe. These elusive stars have variable definitions and names depending on their temperatures and sizes. For instance, M dwarfs or M type main sequence stars have a maximum temperature of 3900 K, hence their name and characteristics. Returning to Proxima b, its mass is known to be equivalent to 1.07 Earths. Interestingly, it takes only 11.2 days to complete one orbit of its star, compared to our 365.25 days. You can gauge the size of the star Proxima b is orbiting by measuring the entire electromagnetic spectrum. The star has a total luminosity of only about 0.16% of the sun's. Also, in the visible light range, its luminosity appears much dimmer as it illuminates only 0.056% of the sun's luminosity in the visible light range, emitting significantly less light energy compared to the sun. Over 85% of its emitted energy is in the form of infrared radiation. Orbiting around 0.04856 astronomical units from its star, Proxima b's discovery was announced back in 2016. You might ask, why Proxima b out of thousands of stars, planets, and galaxies? Why are we so focused on this particular heavenly body? There are a few reasons contributing to the distinct fascination astronomers have with Proxima b. First and foremost, it is the closest known star to our sun and by definition, to us. Although 4.2 light years is a large number to us Earthlings, in the grand scheme of the universe, it is a mere blip. Thus, Proxima b, our nearest known star, is high up on the priority list. Additionally, it is part of the triple star system called Alpha Centauri. Despite Proxima b's low luminosity, the system itself appears as one of the brightest star groupings in the night sky, just behind Sirius and Canopus. However, the most intriguing thing about Proxima Centauri b is that it could potentially be habitable since it falls within the habitable zone. The possibilities surrounding the star are endless, and astronomers have taken on the task of exploring the depths and limits of the star's potential. That is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. As the JWST continues its exploration of this exoplanet, we get closer to completing missions from SETI to exoplanets in the search for alien life. So what exactly is SETI? Considering that humans have always been curious beings, probing and pushing into literally everything that moves and doesn't move, it makes sense that a mission like SETI emerged on such a large scale. Imagine that God has orchestrated a grand expedition, but with a twist. Instead of searching for gold, we are tasked with listening for signals, more specifically electromagnetic whispers from civilizations beyond our imagination. SETI stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence and is our collective effort to detect signs of intelligent life lurking among the stars. Our curiosity knows no bounds. Right back in the mid-1900s, not long after radio technology came into human use, geniuses like Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi came up with a novel idea. They hoped to use these new devices to make a real connection with the stars. Tesla even ventured to fancy the idea of chatting with Martians using his wireless transmission system. Fast forward to the swinging 60s, and we find ourselves in the midst of Project Ozma, the brainchild of the brave astronomer Frank Drake. Equipped with a powerful radio telescope and a solid dose of curiosity, Drake scanned the cosmic airwaves for signs of life. Unfortunately, his efforts came up empty. However, the brave hunt continued, with scientists worldwide tuning their antennas to the cosmic symphony. Meanwhile, over in the Soviet Union, our friends across the Iron Curtain were also keen on the cosmic chatter. Led by the celebrated I.S. Shklovsky, Soviet scientists turned their antennas skyward, searching for those elusive transmissions from the stars. The stage was set for a cosmic showdown. But wait, what's this? A mysterious signal broke through. The cosmic noise, bringing the excitement and nerves to an all-time high. Named the, wow, signal, it sent shockwaves through the scientific community. As the years went by, the quest for cosmic companions only intensified. From SETI at home to the ambitious Project Cyclops, scientists went all out in their journey to unravel the cosmic mystery. Then, in a fortunate turn of events, or perhaps destiny, a coded radio transmission from Mars graced our Hubble telescopes, igniting the flames of curiosity again. But what does that exploration truly look like now? How far have humans progressed in space endeavors? Lights on Proxima b. 
In a 2021 research paper titled Detectability of Artificial Lights from Proxima B, researchers Elisa Tabor and Abraham Loeb set out to investigate the potential for detecting artificial lights from the dark side of Proxima B. Since Proxima B is a planet located in the habitable zone of its star, the study aimed to assess whether Proxima B could potentially support intelligent life and how to detect it. After highlighting Proxima B's importance as a target in the search for extraterrestrial life, they unveiled the juicy yet somewhat startling detail, a new speculative radio transmission detection from Proxima B's direction. It's not recent, as it was received years ago, but when your area of research is literally space, where information takes light years to travel, everything is a breakthrough. Creating a massive buzz among the science and astronomy enthusiast community, the tentative radio transmission added another layer of intriguing mystery that astronomers can't wait to unravel. The transmission was detected by the Breakthrough Listen project and represents a potential candidate for an extraterrestrial radio emission originating from the vicinity of Proxima Centauri, the host star of Proxima b. The Breakthrough Listen project, launched in 2015, aimed to survey the sky for signals indicative of technological civilizations beyond Earth. It is an effort to break through the barriers of space and listen for any form of communication by utilizing cutting-edge radio telescopes and data analysis techniques. The project search spanned years. Regarding the speculative radio transmission from Proxima b, the story is quite valuable. Astronomers working on the project detected a narrowband emission at a frequency of approximately 982 MHz. This frequency falls within the range typically associated with artificial radio transmissions, such as those used for communication purposes on Earth. It was an exciting discovery that opened the door to a whole new range of possibilities. Although the, wow, signal has not been convincingly attributed to an extraterrestrial origin and may have alternative explanations, the discovery is still a significant milestone in humanity's history. With the signal in place, it was time to evaluate the call. The Breakthrough Listen team conducted follow-up observations and data analysis to investigate the signal further. The goal was to assess its likelihood of being of extraterrestrial origin. Although the signal has been scrutinized extensively, definitive conclusions are not possible at this time. The vast expanse of space we call the universe is not as straightforward as we would like. Complexities, disturbances, and interferences from earthly sources can and will distort the results. As for astronomers, they cannot proceed with distorted results, as space missions require extreme precision in every aspect and a considerable amount of money to be executed successfully. Making a mistake based on an uncertain response is simply not an option, with this in mind, researchers took extensive measures to eliminate any potential earthly interference. They meticulously combed through the data, ruling out possibilities like satellites, aircraft, and even interference from Earth-based technologies. The rigorous process aimed to isolate the signal and determine its true origin. The excitement surrounding this discovery rekindled the broader quest for life beyond Earth. While there was no definitive conclusion, the signal prompted renewed efforts and further investigation into the cosmos. Fast forward to 2024, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, provided an unprecedented opportunity to explore Proxima b in more detail. Utilizing its advanced infrared capabilities, the JWST was able to capture images and data from Proxima b that were previously unattainable. Scientists hope to detect artificial light, an unmistakable sign of technological civilization. The concept was simple, if there were an advanced civilization on Proxima b, they might use artificial lighting on the dark side of the planet. Such lighting could potentially be detected by the JWST, providing indirect evidence of intelligent life. The JWST's observations yielded promising results. Infrared images of Proxima b showed anomalies that could be consistent with artificial lighting. These findings reignited discussions about the possibility of extraterrestrial civilizations and what such a discovery would mean for humanity. The anomalies, although not definitive proof, provided a tantalizing hint that we might not be alone in the universe. However, as with any scientific discovery, caution was necessary. The anomalies could have alternative explanations, such as natural phenomena or instrumental artifacts. Scientists conducted thorough analyses to rule out these possibilities, ensuring that the results were robust and reliable.